experience. And would you, add, if a business was moved to network as a service, should they move when their business grows or when the operating costs starts going up? Uh, business can always, um, it depends on the solution that you're proposing. And um, business will always assess and look at the solution that you have proposed and see how feasible it is uh, to move uh, together in the growth. Uh, for example, um, I've been in a company where we embrace uh, any uh, kind of solution so long as the value proposition is um, good for the business. So uh, usually the business provider will have to build a very good case where you uh, look feasibly to uh, what the business, uh, the business would gain from that particular solution. So um, many of the businesses, for many of the businesses, it is good to start, um, it is good to start uh, growth together uh, with the new technologies, whereas even when the, the business has grown, for example, um, the way I see our business right now as APSA, uh, even when we've grown, we can still uh, go ahead with the uh, new technology and still work together uh, to even enhance because all businesses are looking for uh, continuous improvement and continuous growing. Do you agree with him? Should businesses move to network and service immediately or they should first see some revenue come in? I think it's something that they need to embrace like immediately because that is the future. So we don't have to wait for the future. The future is now. I need to embrace it like in totality. So I agree with my colleague from ABSA. This is the way to go. So network as a service is a feature that will actually enable these small corporates, big corporates in the same tandem to actually actualize all those benefits that we'll get in an SD1 or any other cloud architecture. So it is the new kid on the block and everybody should go for it. I'm going to stay with you a minute. That's right. Please share with us what others are doing. I have Ugandan businesses here and here we are looking to do business. Actually, we have like a formula across all our opcos and we try to like uh, cut across all our opcos. And so, so to say is that Uganda is taking the lead in terms of this adoption of these technologies. So going forward, as I said, uh, again, the other opcos are emulating Uganda and uh, Uganda being like a small market in terms of sizing. But in overall, in terms of the revenue that comes in, it has a very big potential. And again, if you look at the entire ecosystem again across all the other opcos where Airtel operates, this is something that we've already embedded in our DNA. And uh, the customers are seeing this. You're working with them the journey and everything that we, like now we are big team. So we as Airtel, when we come to you as a customer, you don't just come as one. We come in full. We don't just let you go. We'll work with you from the first step to the last step. I'll pause the image there and go to Shabit. From a global view of cybersecurity, what are other opcos, other areas, what other jurisdiction doing for the last user, for Andrew's customer who is logging in for the first time? I think this is where we are talking about while the... Uh, the network is getting complex. The businesses are getting complex. It, they are getting more and more competitive. Technology is, of course, uh, getting more complex. But there's also a thing that the way these global companies are working, they are the whole job is to simplify the technology. So you log into the dashboard. You have to set up a SSL. So you create your branches. You create your hubs. And with three clicks, you are done with your SSL, right? To further simplify, and I do understand with you that we are talking about a region which you mentioned, right? But I think this is where the role of a managed service provider will even be more critical because we would want our customers to stay away from operational challenges. And uh, there's a saying, right? Do what you love, right? So we would want to take all the pain away from the IT teams, all the pain away from the IT managers. We want them to focus on the core strategy 
which is important for the organization to continue creating a competitive advantage. And from an operation perspective, things which are which can be super frustrating, right? We want a managed service provider or a service provider like an ATL to lead in this market, right? And make it simple for the customers, right? So there are two angles. There's a service provider who can manage the show. And at the back end, there are simplified tools like the Meraki dashboard and the and the Catalyst dashboard, right? Through which the ATL team can manage it simply, simply, you know, in a very complex environment. The way technology is getting consumed is completely changed. David, it's a global problem. It is not a problem related to Uganda or any other specific country. So in your view, Javid, network as a service, we're pitching out as a, a strategy. So it's more on um, any other business, concentrates on its core business. So if professions like risk and advisory come in and they want assurance, what, what should leadership of any business, doesn't matter what the size, what should it be telling in the risk and advisory team? The role of risk and advisory is also very critical, okay? And the solutions which are part of this NAS service is actually going to help both customers and the advisory teams to get a better holistic view. Uh, you saw just one thing, like you can drill down and see at the application level what is the usage, who's using it, all those things. I can tell you there is far more details available if you go and take into the security aspects of it. What are the vulnerabilities uh, which have been seen across your network? How it has been mitigated? Who's trying to access what? So I can tell you with security, it is even more granular because we understand that not every customer will have a cybersecurity specialist team. Okay, as I mean, we want Customers to focus on their business. Their, their, I mean, cybersecurity is not their business. So this solution is actually going to help both the customers and the advisory team to get more information. So that, that way they can be more assured that they are protected and there is nothing bad happening on the network. I'll pause it there and go to Moses and anyone else who may have a question. What would you ask a guy from Airtel selling NAS to your client? My name is Chris from Crown Networks. If I need a dashboard where I can see what people are doing, uh, are they doing the right stuff they should do at work? But again, this is powered by Cisco, right? My network, say, is under other several other devices, not Cisco devices. Does this platform support any other devices? So this is like a modular platform, modular service. You can start with SD-WAN and then keep adding to it. It's important to understand, you know, if you have the SD-WAN service from uh, Meraki and uh, Cisco and uh, Airtel NAS, then you will get those information. Yeah, you can start your journey from anywhere. And then as in well, when your older gears are getting end of life, end of uh, support, I think that is when you can ask the Airtel team to refresh those gears also to get the full stack or the full platform benefit along with the security. The model that we've adopted as Airtel is we're using the OPEX model. So we don't do the CAPEX model. CAPEX model is whereby you have to go and buy the gear one-off. So we partnered with Cisco as Airtel to give us these boxes in advance to give our customers some leverage in terms of their budgeting. So we get you into that OPEX model for a period of like three years and then we amortize the cost. So if you look at what you pay Airtel per month, it will be like way cheaper than if you would have gone to buy the box one-off. So that is a model that we've adopted across all our regions for this particular solution. I have another question. That goes to Ochola. How do you manage redundancy in NAS? So on redundancy, we are looking at uh, how available the network will be. Because actually the business of the, uh, being in business is to be in business. So at every given point, we try as much as possible to give you 100% availability. So how do you do that? Through redundancy. So we look at all the last mile technologies that will be present in your enterprise. So we have like fiber, we have microwave, we have 5G or 4G, we have satellites. So with this solution, it's a, a crafted in such a way that we give you two. 
we plan for failure. By planning for failure is that we ensure that redundancy is there. So we give you two links. If one of them fails, the other one will pick up. Or the better if the, we do load balancing. So that's how redundancy is done. So we can do that at the device layer. For example, you can give you two devices, two last miles, the way the customer would want that connection to happen. So in the nutshell, redundancy is in a particular layer that you take keen interest in to ensure that our, your business of our customers continue running as normally. I'm coming back to you, Andrew. What should segments, what should they demand of service providers like Airtel? Thank you. Uh, probably Airtel could be doing it. I know that anyone in the market and they know they have a competitor must not only rely on their innovations, but also benchmark on um, what they see as advantages that others have and then either improve on that or at least uh, match it. So I know that Cisco is a market leader in the uh, products. I, I would like to know uh, to what extent you benchmark on other vendors to improve uh, the products and services. The bottom line is this solution is meant to reduce the complexity for customers. Okay, And you can certainly do the comparison uh, with other vendors also. Uh, we believe this is a unique offering. Uh, which Airtel and Cisco is providing. So, but yes, feel free to do uh, your comparisons, uh, whether it is cost or capabilities. I'm sure this solution will turn out to be the best. Thank you. Yeah, I would just uh, request our customers to um, get into a holistic uh, uh, discussion for uh, how how do the next three years look, right? Rather than getting into a tactical approach, that I have a SD WAN requirement for five locations. I think, um, yeah. So look at the platform. Look at the security at each and every point. Uh, look at the roadmap as a CIO, of course, as a leadership. Look at how you can, you know, comfort your op teams who are working in day in day out and make their life easy, and make your life also easy, and give your organization that competitive edge with a whole story of how ATEL can really help you in the next three to five years, that is going to be my two cents, right? Rather getting into a tactical discussion. My parting shot is that look at the entirety in terms of the value that this solution will bring to you. So don't mind about the technology at the back end because Airtel will take care of it. But you as a business, what value does this solution bring to you? Is it going to help you increase your operational excellence? Is it going is it, is it to help you to like, uh, in terms of uh, cutting cost? So look at all that thing holistically to give you that total value that you're looking for as an organization. Imagine your business powered by a network that's always one step ahead. Introducing Airtel Network as a service, NAS powered by Cisco, a smarter way to manage your connectivity. At the core of NAS are two intelligent solutions, Airtel Managed Wi-Fi and Managed SD1. Let's start with Airtel Managed Wi-Fi, your wireless network monitored, optimized and secured. Get reliable performance, complete control over guest access and zero hardware headaches, all while staying compliant. With best in-class access points, coverage is seamless, indoors and out. And with deep user-level reporting and branded login portals, you even turn Wi-Fi into a marketing tool. Now, meet Airtel Managed SD1, the digital backbone of smart, distributed businesses. Like GPS for your data, it finds the fastest, most reliable path for every application. Choose from Internet, MPLS, 4G or satellite, all secured like a vault and managed from one central control panel. Your business, critical apps get all the attention they need. So your operations never slow down. Airtel NAS. Simplify your network. Amplify your business.